Hi, and welcome to this video about how to pick the right real estate agent for you. In this part, we're going to talk about the offer. My name is Doc Denton, and my wife Tracy and I are both realtors in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. Well, that went well, and just as we scripted it, we've received an offer. We will analyze it and look at the offer amount, the closing date, extra things the buyer is asking for, such as you to pay the title expenses or closing cost, or even for a home warranty. We'll also examine the type of financing the buyer is using, as well as any other special stipulations they may be asking for, such as the shelving in the garage or the refrigerator in the kitchen. Once we review the offer and break down the details, we will present you with the facts and you will have the choice to do one of three things. You can accept, reject, or counter their offer. It's very important to be in close contact with us during this time because everything has a time-sensitive deadline attached to it. The buyer can still change their mind during the negotiation and is not considered under contract until everyone has agreed and signed upon the purchase and sell agreement. We will negotiate on your behalf through this process. So what can happen? As I said earlier, you can accept, meaning you agree to the buyer's offer price and all of their terms and conditions just as they submitted them to you. You can reject, meaning you do not agree with the buyer's offer price or terms. This is an unfortunate scenario, but sometimes sellers may not see eye to eye with something in a buyer's offer. Could be the price, their type of financing, or many other things. Now option three would be countering, meaning you are willing to negotiate. This is a good thing. This is the most common scenario we see. Say you were offered $5,000 less than the list price for the house, but you need some of that $5,000 to move. So you decide to counter back with only a reduction of $2,500 off the list price. Okay, so now you countered. Now heads up, the ball is back in their court and the clock is on them to respond. What are they going to do? Just like you, they can accept, reject, or counter. Accept means they agree to the purchase price and the house being $2,500 under the list price. They could also reject it, meaning that they do not agree with the reduction only being $2,500 off the list price, and they walk away from the negotiations, rendering the contract null and void. Or they could also counter. Of course, this can go back and forth until everyone re reaches a win-win agreement and we bind the purchase and sell agreement. We add new content regularly, so please don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button.